if you are in a position of power, then you have to expect that not everybody is going to be kissing your hand and loving every single thing that you do. All right? And satire is a legitimate, as far as I'm concerned, a legitimate manner in which to put a message across in a humorous way. You know, uh, it was critical of uh, government policies, it was critical of the way government handled certain things. But nowhere in that video um, was it being um, specifically insulting to any ethnic group or to any religious faith. Right? Uh, it, it, takes, it takes a very strange mind to, to, to see that. Unless, of course, that you equate criticism of the government as a, uh, as a criticism of Malay people or as a criticism of Islam, which is ridiculous. Um, so it's, it's, a, it's a ridiculous objection to, to basically a, a, satirical, a satirical video. There are certain limits to the freedom of expression that goes without saying. If she was saying something which was inciting hatred, then maybe it's arguable that it's it's wrong. But from what I saw, there was none of that, right? It it was a you know rather amateurish um, attempt at humor, but nonetheless, it the the the, the points that they were criticizing, the things that they were trying to uh, poke fun at, and and remember, it, they're just poking fun at things. You know? Would definitely not anything which I would consider to be um, inciting any sort of uh, ill will towards a particular ethnic group or towards a particular religious faith. So can I say that Prasad Cox, uh, all this fiasco is politically motivated? Listen, the fact of the matter is, the political power of the, of the ruling government is not as safe as it used to be. Okay, ever since 2008, and definitely since 2013, where we could see that the, um, the popular vote has completely gone against them, right? They do not have the kind of support that they've enjoyed for the past 56 years, right? So the way I see it, it is undoubtedly a very desperate attempt at trying to make issues uh, where issues do not exist simply in order to hang on to power. Yeah, you could see the, the, the same thing happening with the Allah issue. All right? Why, why suddenly uh, you're raising these things? Why? Because you're trying to create a demon. You're trying to create an enemy. All right? In order for the Malays to once again unite behind um, the, the, the government, behind the Barisa. Because they could see that support is going. All right? It's clear. All right? So, how do you get the support back? By creating an enemy. So that's what's happening now. They're creating enemies where enemies do not exist simply for political reasons. If you're offended, then please point out exactly what it is that, that offends you. All right? And if, if you think that it's wrong or that it's bad, then by all means, you have the right to say so. But you do not have a right to threaten people with physical violence. That is where the line has to be drawn. And that's where the line has been crossed. And what's worse, just as I said earlier, the reaction by the powers that be is as if nothing wrong has happened. And that is ridiculous. Well, obviously what these people are threatening to do is illegal. It's incitement. Um, you know, it's incitement um, for violence. And that's clearly against the law. It's um, clearly against a penal code. And, um, you know, if I touch you, that is assault, you know, let alone if I slapped you. So my initial reaction is that they have committed a wrong and action has to be taken. And um, the reaction from the Home Minister is absolutely ridiculous. Um, and it, it, it just shows that he has placed politics above his duty as a minister. And that for me is actually the most shameful thing about the, the whole fiasco. The fact that you have a bunch of people um, getting excited about nothing, that is normal. In any society, you will have the nutcases, all right? And that's part of living in a society. What is really shocking is the reaction of the government to this because it's not about Teresa Kok being a, a DAP member. It's about a citizen being threatened by another citizen. And that is what is shocking about the whole thing. In, in this country, anything can happen. All right? Now, if you look at the, um, the Sedition Act, I don't think there's anything seditious in, in what was um, 
being um, shown on that video. Yeah, because criticism, legitimate criticism of a government cannot be considered seditious. Right? Now, the, the manner with which that criticism um, takes place, yeah, either it's uh, via speech or via uh, a, a satirical video like this, it doesn't matter. If it's a legitimate complaint, if it's a legitimate um, criticism, then it should be okay. Um, but, you know, we've seen in the past the Sedition Act being used for all sorts of things. You know, and, um, and, and, and that's the, the, the beauty of this, this law, this, this very bad law, which is, a, which is a, uh, uh, something which the British left for us, right? Um, that that it, 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 it's fairly broad, so, you know, they might want to try to use it. It would be very foolish for them to do it, but it wouldn't surprise me.